last mission in a series of highly successful space flights. The four-day mission will be the tenth and final manned flight of the Gemini program. Command pilot for Gemini 12 is 38-year-old Navy Captain James A. Lovell, Jr., who made his first flight as pilot of Gemini 7. Edwin E. Aldrin, Jr., 36-year-old Air Force Major, will be the pilot for this mission. It will be his first space flight. The Agena target vehicle will be launched from Cape Kennedy, Florida, about 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, with the Gemini spacecraft scheduled to lift off some 97 minutes later. Rendezvous and docking will come in the third spacecraft revolution at an altitude of 185 miles. After initial docking, the primary propulsion system of the Agena will be fired. This will carry the crew into a 460 by 185 mile orbit. In this orbit, which is maximum for the flight, astronaut Aldrin will conduct his first extravehicular activity. Scheduled to last for two hours and 15 minutes, Aldrin will stand in the open hatch for a series of day and night photographic experiments. He will not leave the spacecraft during the first EVA period. A second Agena propulsion maneuver in the 18th revolution after Aldrin's stand-up EVA will recircularize the orbit at 185 miles. The second extravehicular activity, lasting about an hour and 45 minutes, will consist of astronaut Aldrin leaving the spacecraft and attaching the tether to the Gemini 12 docking bar. The attachment maneuver will be similar to the one shown here of astronaut Richard Gordon during the Gemini 11 flight. Aldrin will continue his EBA by carrying out work tasks in the Agena target docking adapter area and in the spacecraft equipment adapter section. A second stand-up EBA is planned on Gemini 12 for additional space photography. A possible target during this EBA is the solar eclipse on November 12th. A tethered station keeping exercise will follow the umbilical EVA and will last about six hours. This exercise, as shown here from film taken aboard Gemini 11, is designed to help scientists and engineers find methods of saving fuel while two space vehicles are orbiting close together. This rotation maneuver, used during the last flight, also set up a small amount of artificial gravity. Cameras such as this 70 mm Hasselblad, 70 mm Maurer, and two 16 mm Maurer motion picture cameras are used for all photographic activity including synoptic terrain, synoptic weather, air glow horizon, and sodium cloud formation. A frog egg experiment, such as the one being prepared here in the lab, will be conducted on Gemini 12. The frog eggs will be fertilized as close to launch time as possible, and the effects of a weightless environment on a developing embryo will be studied as they are brought back to the lab after four days in space. Retrofire is scheduled to occur about 94 hours into the flight. Gemini 12 will splash down in the West Atlantic some 94 hours and 30 minutes after liftoff. Going into this final Gemini flight, the United States has logged 1,750 hours, 37 minutes, and 28 seconds of man hours in space. Including Mercury man in space figures, total time is more than 75 days. The next step in the progressive exploration of space, the Apollo program, to gain for the United States preeminence in all aspects of space research. Mission, to place American astronauts on the moon and bring them back by 1970.